Ken Surfs here in my brother Mike's bat cave, I mean man cave, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and setting up of the Stern Premium Catwoman pinball machine. So let's go back about an hour or two in time, and we're going to show you the unboxing and keeping the box intact. All right, we'll be right back. Why he's having me do this? All right. You can just put it just right in there. Yep. Oh. I delivered the last one. Uh, the one in the corner. All right. He's broke the seals on that. There we go. Perfect. So now we're ready to remove it from the pallet. So he's got his mods ready to go on or some accessories. We've got the longer gold uh, pinball leg screws. We've got the purple uh, feet. We've got the clear spacers and has the custom Batman slash Catwoman cup. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing on the pallet. Stand on the pallet. I told you, the tea molding is purple. Now we have to tip it back up on its back to put on the front legs. Pin wrenches really work good. How many times did you hit that today? Uh, twice.
Oh, that matches perfect. Look at that. Yep. Got the purple spacers in there. No, but I will. That's so cool. Oops, I'm getting a reflection, a reflection in there. That's cool right there. Julie Newmar. Yeah. Twenty second, two thousand and nineteen. I'm glad you mark yours. Yeah, I mark my wrenches. Well, I would steal it. So shall we lift this up and take oh, the you chair wanna, up? We gotta put these right. Here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta lower them down. Give it kind of a. Shall we lift this up? Yep. Watch out, Oz. Lift it up and you pull out the cardboard. Or are we on the front too? No, I'll just move. So the box is intact. Another box saved. Munster save, Ellie, and now Catwoman. I wonder how many people actually lift it by this. Yeah, it'd be silly to do. That's a don't do moment. Don't lift it by the shooter rod. All right, you want to cut this? Get the goodie tray out of there. The keys were attached to here. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Got the power cord. Got my balls. <laughs> Tilt Bob. That's beautiful. Them. All right, now we'll tilt it up. Difficult decision. They put clear, clear plastic coating over the. Uh, what do you call this again? T mold. The T molding. Let's take it off. You want to take it off? Yeah, let's just take it off. All right. Yeah. 
That was the same on Munsters. Check Munsters right now, see if it is. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, it is, huh? No, I don't know. Okay. Yep, it, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. The reason he was questioning that is on his Cactus Canyon. This was a, a home use only machine bought from the factory, shipped right to a house. It still has the original tape protecting the side rails on. The owner never took off the tape. I mean, what an example of a perfect, perfect, perfect cactus canyon. Shall we lift this up now? Yeah. Move that up. right there. That You don't want to forget to put these on, because if this head falls forward, you're going to have one hell of a mess. I believe the art down here is similar, or is the same. On the Batman 66. But that. And the translate. And the translate is different. Oh, that looks so nice. Always set your glass not on the bare concrete. How many of you had break, Mike? Two. You'd figure you'd learn after the first time. After the second. Ah. And it does make a mess. Especially with the dogs running around. Remove cable tie before operating the game. I'll let you remove all the foam. You got foam there too. Yeah, and the bat foam. I think that just pulls out. Yeah, that just pulls out. Oh, like a little Batmobile. You want to lift up the play field and we'll put on the plumb bob or the uh, tilt bob. All right, tilt bob needs to go on, so we need to lift this up. There's your goodie bag with the extra cards. Looks like you get a key ring. Some stickers, some decals. Yeah, key rings. That'll be staying in. Yep. If you want to keep the collectivity, you don't uh, you don't open them. You go buy an extra set off eBay. Let's get it. Some people say they don't want to have a tilt on, but then when you have your crazy nephews or nieces over, banging yeah, your machine, banging your machine and breaking it, you do want a bit of a tilt. There. Not bad at all. Too biz, but I'm sure we're gonna figure it out later. <laughs> Two. 
here's the back tube. In transit, it came off. So there, oh, hold it. Nope, here's the other end of it. So uh, it goes down a little farther. See, we're gonna have to adjust. All right, so as you see, uh, she's got a clamp down here and a clamp up here, so that must have came off. In transit. Lower it again. I'll let you do that. Now that the back tube is on, I'm going to lift it up a bit to get it over the. Uh, then let me get my arm out of there so it doesn't make that big shock bounce. And it is July 13th today. So that's a vintage Topps card. Yeah. From the Batman series. And again, it's got clear protection on it. That maybe leave it for now. But that's me. One thing I notice immediately on this machine is we have color laminated cards. But the machine that's another thousand dollars more, the LE Munsters, <laughs> has those cards. Peeling some plastic off the TV. Yeah, we got a magnet here. That's ah, very similar to the Herman Munster magnet. They've just made some tweaks to the play field. And then they were saying when the first Batman came out, they were having problems with this ramp. It wasn't really tight and secured, so when you hit the ball up the ramp, it would, wobble. it would wobble and stuff, but it seems pretty good now, so maybe they corrected that problem. Well, let's get the power cord hooked up to it. So I have the Munsters Pro and you have the LE, but it's weird seeing all this. It's gonna be weird seeing the color screen. How's the tilt, Bob? Huh? We're a little bit off. We have to make an adjustment on the legs. Back leg or the front leg's got to come up a little bit. We can mess with it. Right? Yeah. Now he's going to send off, or he's got the, is it from the LE, Mike? There's, uh, yeah. There's a gentleman, there's a gentleman who has the new side pieces. The back that comes down, uh, all powder coated. Uh, it's got, has it got gray speckles in it or something? Yeah, it's just like the LE and the Super LE. He's going to have that put on this one. Because you can't just get a new machine and uh, hey look they left a oh no no sorry thought that was a ball hanging there that's actually <laughs> that's on the crane yeah put her in its place. Yeah, she's gonna go right where Twilight Zone is. And Twilight Zone's gonna go in between Indiana Jones and Monster Bash. So all we have to do is plug in the power cord right here. And then hopefully... And I do not believe that there's an update for this yet, but we will see. First time power up. Here we go. Always nervous. 
What? <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Stern's got great products. Look at the cool plaque. Yeah. Premium edition. There we go. test. There we go. Version 1.3. In color. Now we got to set it up for a free play. Let's see. Yeah, see? I wanted to send to him too. To Eric Gilly. All right. Do the first play. You already got a setup or not yet? Yeah, she's set up. Well, let's do two players. No, I do one. I'm gonna film you. Afternoon in Gotham Central Park, noble sanctuary of nature in the midst of the teeming metropolis. have the Catwoman Premium Edition unboxing, saving the box, and setup. Now, time to have some fun. So until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night. Daring duo escape the claws of the wily Catwoman. Tomorrow night, same cat time, same cat channel. <laughs> <laughs>